The earliest Christians knew full well that their government held its soldiers to a solemn vow. And as they began to practice life together, they realized that baptism and confession, the sacred meal and other communal acts served as an equally holy and fearsome pledge to their Lord. And so they did indeed begin to adapt Caesar's word to their own purposes and the idea of Christian sacraments was born. Now my father was quick to remind me that while the church may have borrowed a Roman word to name them, the sacraments themselves are far older than Rome, having their origins in Judaism as well as in the life and practice of Jesus himself. Jesus was baptized. He insisted on being baptized. He kept the Passover meal of the Jewish heritage and commanded that we do so forever thereafter. He sanctioned marriage and spoke of it as a holy binding, as had Judaism since the Garden of Eden. Like the prophets before him, Jesus anointed the sick. He cried out over and over again for the people, even for the whole city of Jerusalem at one time, to repent. He affirmed the authority of the priesthood, declaring that they were to be respected. And he was confirmed when, at age 12, he himself was taken to the temple by his parents for that very ritual. Traditionally, then, the church has named seven sacraments. Baptism, Holy Communion, Matrimony, Anointing of the Sick, Penance, Holy Orders, and Confirmation. These original seven still accrue for millions of Christians in their communal life as a spiritual body. Roman Catholic Christians, for instance, practice all of them. And Orthodox Christians recognize all seven as the major or principal sacraments. My own Anglicanism recognizes only baptism and Holy Communion as sacraments, though it does hold all the other five as central to the faith. Lutherans agree with us Anglicans, except they also add Holy Absolution, a sacrament of confession and forgiveness to the list. There are other communities of faith, of course, such as Salvation Army and the Quakers that leave out the idea of sacraments altogether. Tangled, I know, and I've only begun to tug at the knots.